We can use restore guest files and restore application items for physical server. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about these two options. And we want to restore our DC1 physical server. Here in backup this for a specific agent, maybe you have several agents for your physical server, for your email physical server, your file server, which is physically or whatever. So let's say restore guest file. We want to restore a specific file or folder to our physical server. This is the difference for volume level restore. In volume level restore, you can restore the entire volume. But if you want to restore only the specific file or folder, the restore guest file is the best option for you. So we'll specify the restore point here and next. And next and finish. So we'll wait for the Veeam Explorer here. So as you can see, we can easily restore the specified folder. Let's imagine we want to restore this log folder again to our e-disk. We simply right click and we'll say override. This backup browser actually tries to connect to our DC physical server. So as you can see, restore completed successfully and we restored 91 files and the capacity is around 17 megabyte and there is no error. That's great. Or we can use restore application item. As you can see, the agent detects Microsoft Active Directory. You can restore your physical image server or your file server or your another database server here by choosing restore application item from that agent. Again, we'll specify the point and finish. Again, we'll wait for Veeam Explorer to explore our Active Directory and it mounts the database here. Here, as you can see, we can restore the policy that we accidentally deleted. The restore object is one. Great. And again here, we can restore the specified user. Restore summary, as you can see, is succeeded. or something like restore the specified computer account. Great. As you can see, we have several options here. We can easily restore our physical server. Even you can restore it through Amazon Cloud or Microsoft Azure or the rest of configuration here. And here you can see my Veeam backup and replication course. If you already enroll in this course, I appreciate it if you take a time and leave a comment and review for this course. In bottom here, you can see my free course, which is Veeam One Monitoring, which is a great course and help you how you can easily monitor your Veeam backup server and also your virtual platform, which is going to be Hyper-V or VMware vSphere. I highly recommend you that you enroll to this course. Thanks for watching.